Shockwave, coming in. Shockwave, it's live. I don't have much time, but in the time I have left, I send this message to anyone. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I pray to God the Autobots get this message. Stay away from Cybertron. Repeat, do not return to Cybertron. It's a long story, but my name is Shockwave. I am one of, if not the last, unchanged Cybertronians left on Cybertron. I have escaped to one of my bunkers. There was enough energon to last me solar cycles, and that's just the energon that was made to sustain me, not counting the ones I could use. I had I had kept for my experiments. I guess I should explain it, everything. It began less than a few cycles ago. I was doing an experiment. New bioweapon to be used on the Autobots for when Megatron and his crew go into deep space after them. I was working on it for some time now. It was a virus meant to enhance the strength of Decepticons, make them more powerful, make them have strange abilities. I was I used several Cybertronians, such as Skywarp, Soundwave, the Constructicons, and even Star Screams. I used them to create a, some this virus. I was getting the final bits of it done when Megatron came into my lab and told me that I had to speed it up, and I had to just get it ready. The Autobots had just launched their ship, the Ark, in its course to find a planet to colonize. I told Megatron it was not ready, but that fool wouldn't listen to me. He, despite my better judgment, I listened to him. I regret it now more than ever. I enhanced the virus's speed, I made it better, and I manufactured a ton of it. I decided to give some... Someone had to take a test drive before the, the Decepticons went on their way to follow the Autobots. Megatron decided to test it on himself. What dumb mistake that was. When I injected him with the virus, all I heard for a minute was screaming from him. He was screaming and riling in pain. And then in a moment, it stopped. I had one of my guards go in there to check on Megatron to see if he was okay. But when he went in, he was screaming over the radio. I looked into the chamber, and I saw the most horrifying thing imaginable. He'd ripped that soldier to bits, and Megatron was just standing there. Energon around his face. Holding the guy's spark, I watched as Megatron devoured it in front of me. And then his jaw, his jaw extended beyond, beyond reasonable, beyond anything reasonable. It was horrifying. For the first time in a long time, I felt my emotions return. Fear took over. I ran out of my laboratory. And I send in the Seekers. I told them to stand guard. I wasn't sure what was wrong with Megatron. But I just told them that he had cannibalized one of my soldiers that I had in there. Starscream and a few Seekers went in. I heard gunfire and screams. I, ha I called an army. As many Decepticons as possible. Soundwave had the area under lockdown. That was when I made I was making my way towards this laboratory. I wasn't sure if they had really taken out Megatron, but I was in contact with Soundwave. He told me what he saw when his team arrived it was horrifying. Skywarp was torn in half, ripped to shreds, Thundercracker's head was crushed, and his arms were ripped off, but standing in front of them was Megatron. And Starscream. They were both like each other. Infected. With this. Virus. I don't know how Starscream became infected. I don't know why he was the only one. It didn't matter. Soundwave and his team opened fire on them. 
one by one, they were all killed. Every single one of them. Some of them became infected, like Soundwave. I heard his last screw words over the radio. Before, 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 before I heard that. The noise, the sound of someone transforming into one of those things. It was nothing I'd ever heard before. You might describe it as worse than a scream of agony. Something I don't think anyone or any being in all time has ever heard. <laughs> Cybertron became going dark ever since then. I tried getting in contact with any bots I could, but all were either in hiding or were fleeing the planet. Eventually, the Combaticons, they... They tried to stop bots from leaving Cybertron, knowing that this infection will spread across the galaxy if anyone infected gets off. They started shooting down ships that were escaping. Logical choice. I aided them in this. I came in contact with the ship crew. I could have escaped with my life and left this dying world, but I knew it was too risky. I destroyed the ship. Killing all my comrades in the process. Not too long later, I made it to this bunker. As far as I could tell, the Combaticons are dead now. Most likely. Bruticus stood no chance against them. I don't... I don't know what to do. I can't think of anything. I don't even have samples of this virus anymore. If I did, I could test it, see if I can make some sort of cure. This virus is worse than anything Cybertronian history has faced. Toxen, Dark Energon, even the Plague of Rust are nothing in comparison to this virus. I'd even say that this is worse than dying by a Unicron. I don't know how much time I will have. They'll find me. They'll find me. Sometime they'll find me. And when they do, I have no idea what will happen to me. Oh. Huh. Oh, God. No. No, no. <laughs> I managed to get emergency power back on. Fortunately, the generator to this lab is outside the building. And with it going off, this can only mean one thing. Some of those things are nearby. And they're spot enough to know that that thing is what's keeping me powered down here. I truly think I won't survive for much longer. Power for my security doors is the only thing now left other than this emergency light I found. Once those doors go off, this bunker is not as safe as anywhere else on Cybertron. It will... Megatron is down here with me. I think Starscream is here too. I heard him. <laughs> Again, shockwave to anyone still alive. Out there, do not return to Cybertron. Repeat, do not return. Repeat, do not return.
Ah! Ah! Ah!